strong. Congratulations, noble ogre. You have freed me. Come, follow me. And I shall bestow a token of my gratitude upon you. You follow the elven queen, Lady Bethilda, to her forest lair. She sits on the bed and opens her legs. The scent of carrion pervades the air. What do you do? I take my pants off. But you swore the ogre's oath of celibacy. I take my pants off. <laughs> Lady Bethilda is most alarmed at your manhood. Then she smirks. Oh, this is going to be good. Her jaw unhinges, and before you can say, oh, great oaken lord, she swallows you whole. Fuck. It was so obvious she was a wailing she racks. Rookie mistake. We must interrupt this broadcast. Extraterrestrial life forms have entered our atmosphere. Linguists have translated their transmission and have determined they bear only one message. All virgins must be sacrificed in an offering to the great Zorox Lord. Your regular programming will now resume. You and Aaron Phillips lost your V-card at the library after book club. Before we go to middle parting. Oh yeah! It's all good. I got to fourth base with Sarah Michaels. Yeah, and I got it poppin' with Alice's stepbrother at a Star Trek party. Still weird to think about. It's all free love, baby. It's all good. This is a virgin-free zone. It's D&D all day, all night, baby! <laughs> well, well, I've, I've actually... I, I've I've never. But you you told us you've got a girlfriend. Um, no. Yeah, you did. Remember, she's tall with luscious dark lips and big old slappers. Just don't World of Warcraft. Jerry, she was a character on World of Warcraft, okay? Jerry's gonna die. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! I've got so much left to do. They're gonna take you away. Dude, they're gonna probe your ass. But I'm so young. Everybody calm down. Here's what we're gonna do. Alice, Jerry, you're gonna go into the bathroom and you're gonna make sweet, sweet love. I, I, I literally couldn't. I, I wouldn't be able to look at it the same way again. I, I would rather drink my own piss. Molly, you wanna screw Jerry to save his life? Jerry. You're a good guy. You know, you, you got good music taste. And it's for these reasons that, that I'm in. Molly, we, we've literally known each other since we were this high. Jerry, just, just take off your pants. No. I'll make it quick. No. Jerry, come on. I'm trying to save your life, dude. No, sorry. I, it's too weird. Okay. So I guess that just leaves us with... We have other options. <laughs> Can I help you? We need to get this guy laid. Fast. Me? You? In those bushes, pissed off by the penetration station. Five minutes. Max. Uh, I, um, I, um, I'm a communist. Oh, oh shit! shit.
Excuse me, ma'am. Can I interest you in this hot piece of ass? You want a whiny submissive bitch boy? Very cheap. Highly competitive price tag. Freaks? Asshole? It's written in her profile that she's a mature nymphomaniac who seeks anyone and anybody to spank her silly. As long as she's good, lowering her standards for a few minutes is perfect. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What's wrong? I'm scared, Alice. Like, really bloody scared. Why? Sex is a fun experience, Jerry. Yeah, sex is beautiful, man. But I've not even had time to process it with, like, the whole imminent death thing, and it's actually gonna happen, like, right now. Turn those nerves into adrenaline. You know, libido. And besides, we got you. Till the end. I'll hold your hand while you do it. Thanks, guys. It's just... No aliens are gonna sacrifice you over my dead body, okay? And I, I appreciate it. So let's just... Come on, get it on. No, you're not listening. I'm just not ready. I'd rather take my chances. Terrestrial beings have officially begun their purge of the virgins. Across the world, sexless losers have been abducted. Government advice states, hide your virgins and stay indoors. Be on high alert. God bless you all. Downtown with the cash flow, let the nightlife fly by like it's my prime and I'm back like paychecks. But no let once, I can lay twice, one time for the dime, one for the mine. So, what is our name? Yeah, we definitely need to have a name. It's not a necessity. But it's cool. Noble Ogres of the Wayward Swamp. Be nice. Mm. Get her inside, Damon. There's, there's too many of them. There's no time. You can't beat them. Okay. Odd number. We go out dying like bros. Even number. We do nothing. Like bros. It's a two. Till the end. She came yes. down with Yorkshire puddings on her nipples, shouting, yes. Hunter away! 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 Hunter
Jamie and was trying to the last one. Jamie, yeah. 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 he came in. He came in with flowers up his nose. Do you remember? Do you yeah, remember? I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so you yeah. yeah. just Can I just say, I just say yeah. it's so lovely to see you. Oh, all. thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Like it's been too long. Cheers. 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 Jamie, is he coming soon? Oh shit, I don't know. Shit. Uh, okay, uh, think, 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 think. Uh, uh, okay, I, I know. Yeah, uh, he's fine. Um, he does need to stay longer at work. Um, he should be back any minute. Oh, bless her. She doesn't even realise the poor thing. No, let me follow the pub crying because Arsenal lost again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, big boy. What the fuck? Why the fuck is he doing that now? Is he trying to get caught and ruin my life, the fucking fuckhead? Shh. I'll take care of you. Ooh, that feels kind of nice. So, um, Chantelle, I was wondering, how's the couple therapy going? Oh, why does she have to be such a nosy bitch and ask that question now? It's really not the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's going, it's going good. Mm. Thank you. Oh, don't play this game with me, babe. Wonderful. <laughs> That is so weird. Why is Jacob not eating his peas? He always does when we're out of dinner. Um, and why is Rose staring at Jacob like that? Oh God, I bet she wants some. But he's mine. She needs to back off right now. Could you pass the peas, please? Oh. Cheeky. Why do they keep touching each other like that? Did he know when they're sending secret signals to one another? You don't think so? Well, go on then. Let's have a go. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Oh shit, wrong person. Wait a minute. Is she interested? Does she want some? Oh, I bet she wants some. Yeah, that's right. Mm, actually. Jamie Williams taking his time at the pub now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he is! Yeah, he does. So, how do you find the meat? Oh, it's delicious. Oh, delicious. 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 <laughs> Amazing. I bet you are, you greedy, greasy, pathetic parasites. I definitely shouldn't be doing this. But dear lord, she's so sexy though. <clears throat> Chantel Rose, um, can you tell me what's the reason behind why you're playing Hootsie under the table? Shit. Oh, are they sleeping together too? What the fuck, we could have just had an orgy. Wait, no, what the fuck? My fiance's cheating on me. I actually have um, an announcement to make and I just thought you should be first to hear it. Oh my God, she knows, she knows. It's over, it's over. Oh my God, if she says anything about me and I'm just going to cry sporadically. Yes, nothing like good old crying manipulation. Okay, that never fails. Oh, good God. She definitely knows about me and Jimmy. Oh, 
And now Jacob's gonna find out, which means no more handy andies for me in the loo at Paddington. She knows about me and Jamie. And probably about the dress too. The cat is now coming out the bag and there's nothing I can do about it. Wait. If I make it across the table quick enough, I might be able to body slam her. But how would it make it seem accidental? Maybe I should just say something to distract her. So, Ange, is Jamie coming back soon? <laughs> oh, dears. He's been here all the time. Eat up. He will get cold. And, and Peter and Michael. Oh, oh the mailman. Oh, mailman. <laughs> Look, the point is, I can't always be doing the one doing the, the cutting and you doing the cooking. It's not fair. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> How about you do this one and then next time, I promise, from the bottom of my heart, I'll do it. You promise? Yeah. I promise. All right, let's cut this bad boy open. <laughs> How about a little slow pot roast? Oh, baby, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. What the fuck is that on his arm? What? The tattoo. Yeah. How many times have I told you I don't like tainted meat? Having a tattoo isn't tainted meat, John. If you buy a pear and it's green, crispy, gorgeous, and then I turn it over and there's a bruise on it. Do you throw it out or do you eat it? What? Do you throw it out or do you eat it? Um... I said, do you throw it out or do you eat it? I mean, it depends. Answer the bloody question! Personally, I'd, I'd throw it out. You what? See? <laughs> this is like... We can... We, we can eat around it. We can eat around it, John! Okay. Sorry. Get it off. Get it off. You're pathetic. What? You're fucking pathetic. What? I thought I met the most intelligent man. Sexy. You know, we both like the same cuts of meat. The liver. But you're the worst cannibal in existence. Sue. Whiny little blood gagging dickhead. Uh, Sue. Fucking hairy, picky pear. Stupid idiot. I, I think that's a bit. Shit.
You started without me? I'm good, yeah. Good. I've got to go, but of course, go ahead. It's good to see you. See you. Sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. Mark was just nagging me about this essay that's due on Thursday. Oh, that's horrible. You're literally so lucky that writing is a solo gig. So, how are you? Hi guys, can I get you anything? What if he thinks I'm ugly? He won't. What if he's ugly? He won't be. Mm. What if we have nothing to talk about? Well, that's definitely not going to be a problem. What? You're going to be fine. You're going to have a lovely time. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 And that is why we need to reform the criminal justice system. Woo! Woo! You smashed it! You've actually smashed it! Thank you. Now all we need is for me to get like a brilliant book idea and we'll both be absolutely thriving. You will. You're a great writer, Grace. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. I'm moving out. Okay. So, what's going on? You broke up with me. What happened? I messed up. So, I've got to take the pill. I got so busy with work and deadlines and... I couldn't look after a kid, Grace. Sophie, it's your body. Even if it's his, he can't... It's not. Fuck. Who? Mark. Your tutor. You think I'm an awful person, don't you? No, I don't. Please don't tell anyone. Of course not. Have you heard from Sophie recently? No, actually. Um, I think she's just been super busy. You don't have to be like that. I get that you're upset, but I seriously think you're overreacting. You wrote a fucking book about me, Grace. I wouldn't say it's explicitly about you. It's not like I put your name in it. It doesn't matter if it's explicit or not. I told you not to tell anyone and you told the whole fucking world. You're obsessed with yourself, you know that? I finally write something good that people like and it's getting published. Why can't you just be happy for me? Fuck you, Grace. I really am sorry. 
know. Can we maybe do something next week? Yeah. Uh, I'll text you when I'm free. What's up guys? It's your main man Prank Boy Benny. But you can call me Sergeant Pranksilla. And welcome to Court with Your Prank Stamp. I know what you're thinking. How does a handsome prankster like you get his own TV show? Well, let me tell you, try blackmailing your father into giving you a bag loads of cash so you don't let slip about his affair on TV. <laughs> anyway, let's meet our pranksters, shall we? Graham from Hull has been a cheeky chappy and decided to prank his best pal, Tasha. In order to get some more intel, Graham and I started some surveillance. Oh, that was a close one. Let's get back to the team at Prank HQ. Now that we've introduced our pranker and pranky, it's time to meet our two actors, Jim and Mindy. Tasha thinks she's going to be doing a little babysitting job for these two. <laughs> little does she know, she's going to be looking after the baby from hell. Yo, 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 what is up, prankies? We are back on the secret prank location. I'm joined with my main prankster today, Graham. That's right. So, Groovy Graham. No, it's Graham Anderson. Okay. So, Graham, of course, it wouldn't be a prank show without... The editing team. Hidden cameras. Hidden cameras. Hidden cameras. And we have set up two in this room. Say hello to one over there. And we've got one more over there. Say hello. hello. Give it a wave. Hello. And they're going to be picking up every piece of juicy prank action right here. <laughs> What's up, prank stains? Welcome back. It's crunch time. Tasha is about to arrive. So Graham, why don't we find out a little bit about why you're pranking Tasha today? Well, she doesn't like Ollie Mears. Who? Hold that thought. I've just got some news in. Tasha's coming. Jim, Mindy, you ready? Let's get into position. Graham, let's get pranking. <laughs> <laughs> And here's Tasha arriving at the front door. Looks like the prank is on. Jim, Mindy, go let her in. Oh, hi. hi! How are you doing? Okay, that's a good start. Looks like she's taking the bait. What's your name again? Um, Tasha. Oh, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Jim's first time pranking, so fingers crossed he can keep us cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, this is our living room, and welcome. <laughs> this is obviously my wife. Oh, thank you so much for coming. We are so grateful for you. Like we haven't been out for ages. I mean, like I don't remember last time we went out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim, <laughs> mention the baby. Uh, uh, and we've got uh, a baby upstairs and a cop. Nice work. Come, uh, let's discuss this more of it, of it towards this direction. Looks like Jim's gone a bit rogue. Come on, Jim, stick to the script. So, Tonya, um, Tasha, Tasha, I have to warn you, although our baby may seem innocent, devil 
works. Less creepy. Whatever you do, do not him as you please. Do not. I guess it's up to Watch Mindy to save the day. Mindy! Come on, Jimmy, we should go. Yeah, our table booked. Yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs> um. Good luck. <laughs> Now with Jim and Mindy gone, it's time to get this prank in the bank. What the hell was that about? Okay, it's been half an hour, and so far, things have been relatively boring for Tasha. I think it's time to crank up the prank and give her a spook. It looks like Tasha is ignoring the elephant in the room. I think it's about time we change things up. Graham, give me a thumbs up. Okay, Graham, slowly start to move it. Yes, the elephant. Oh, I think she's noticed. Graham, give it another wiggle. Graham? Graham, you with us? Yes, brilliant. What the fuck? And Q flying book. <laughs> Looks like Tasha here has got herself into a little bit of a pickle. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, that's right. I think Tasha needs a dose of Boris. I was bound to give her the creeps. Go to work! Don't go to work! Things have calmed down a little bit, yeah? <laughs> Tasha, Graham and I have something we've been meaning to tell you. Yeah, that's right, you have been caught with, with your price down. down. <laughs> Introducing our two actors, Jim and Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. And honestly, what a memorable episode it's been. Oh, yeah. yeah. Either has, <laughs> isn't it? I, mean, I certainly won't forget it anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, and shout out to Mindy who let us use her actual baby, Archie. Oh, where's the little one? He must be so tired. Uh, oh, uh, she threw it. What? <laughs> yeah, uh, big shout out to Daisy here. Our camera woman is also a bit of a stand up comedian, I'm told. <laughs> no, 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 she's not joking. Our car came and I threw it. Wait, what? So, as another episode of Caught With Your Pranks Down draws to a close, what have we learned today? Um, always prank responsibly, yeah? Because whilst pranks can go very right, they can also go very wrong and sour quite quickly. Um, for example, we weren't to know that Tasha actually has acute paranoia, which, you know, would have been good information to know beforehand. Guess I'd probably get myself a lawyer. Your dad says you checked your phone. What do you want? Ten missed calls. <laughs> How dare you, you little shit. I wish I wore a condom. You've overstepped the line, young man. See you in court. <laughs> I 
Well, I guess that's all we have time for on Caught With Your Pranks Down. Uh, see you next time. Actually, there probably won't be a next time. Um... Shit. <laughs> How the fuck did we? Holy fucking shit. <laughs> we just. Uh... Right, let's go. I've got to. What? I'm gonna go there now. We'll get to it later. That bag. Did you hear me? Once to get there, off and out, yeah? Yeah. I just need to get that money to him and then I'm free. I'm telling you, it will be easy. You don't know anything. You just have to, have to act calm, don't act weird. Like you're doing right now. Joe! What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing. Wait, what? I'm here for Liz. Yeah, she's busy right now. She knows who I am. Tell her it's Joe. What? Tell her it's Joe. She'll understand. She needs to see this. Yeah, come back later. Yeah, like I said, she's busy, innit? Sorry. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to leave. No, no, look, I'm sorry. Alright? She needs to see this. She can see it later. Mate. She can't. Yeah, I'm not letting you no, in, innit? Mate, you gotta let me see her. Is Katie there? Wait, oh wait, you're Katie's dad. Joe? Liz. What are you doing here? I've got it all, Liz. I've sorted it. Now I can look after you and Katie. Go in, I've got this. Yeah, I don't think this guy Please, is real. Just, just let me, alright? Mm. Got it all, Liz. What do you mean? I've sorted it. It's too late. No, it's not. I'm not doing this. No, no, look, Liz. What is that? Now I can look after her on the weekend. Where the fuck did you get it? It doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't. Well, it doesn't matter because I fixed it. You fixed it? Yeah, I did. You've made it all better. Yes, I have. I, I, look, I don't think you do. I do. <laughs> You're a mess. Liz. And you're trying to bring me into your mess. No, I'm not. Oh.
No, I'm trying to make it better. I don't need you to make it better. I'm fine. But Katie! Katie's fine. Please, you have got to let me see it. That's not gonna happen. You said as soon as I get the money, I can look after her. Well, not with that shit. Liz. Please go. Just take the money. I'm not taking the- Look, I did this for you anyway. Just take the fucking money. Sam? You took it all. Sam. What the fuck are you doing? That money is mine. No, it's for Liz. You know I need it. It's for her and Katie. Sam, just put it down. I will when he gives me what's mine. Just fuck off. You give it to me. Sam. Joe, what the fuck? <laughs> charge for robbery and the murder of Joe Deacon taking place between the times of 10.06 a.m. and 14.23 p.m. on the 26th of March 2020. Do you understand these charges? Do you understand these charges? You can provide your own legal team, if not...